Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we will be reviewing and unboxing Scorpion's brand new CD, Rock Believer. Let's get to it. Welcome back. So this has never happened to me before. I ended up getting two of my pre-orders a day before they were released, which is great. So here's the brand new album. Um, this is the deluxe version. I've removed the shrink wrapping around it. It's got 16 songs in it. There was a little sticker on top of the shrink wrapping which said the booklet is 20 pages big. So I'm excited to see what's in the booklet. Let's just have a look at it together. All right, guys. So this is the CD, and this is the back of the CD. Uh, you can open it up like so, and then you'll see this written in the middle, which is pretty cool, Rock Believer. Um, and let's look at the booklet. And this is the booklet. This is a 20-page booklet, CD number one, which has 11 tracks. And let's look at CD number two. So this one has uh, six tracks, five tracks actually. Band's photo, got Scorpion's symbol. Inside, we're greeted by some lyrics and Klaus's photo. And we got Rudolph, some lyrics, more lyrics. I wish they would have done a colored booklet, that would have been nice. Um, but anyways, that's what it is. And we're happy for it. And finally, we have a photograph of Mickey D. Awesome. Welcome to Scorpions, Mickey D. All right, and the last page, just uh, acknowledgement and the band. All right, and that's the booklet. Let's get to the review. All right, so that was the booklet. Um, pretty, pretty decent. I do like this album artwork a lot. I think this is great. The red just looks just amazing. Um, and the scorpion on the tongue of this woman. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I also like the digipack. I think that's pretty cool. Can you believe it? This is the 19th studio album by Scorpions. And the first one to include the legendary drummer from Motorhead. Mickey D. Um, it's been seven years since Scorpions have released an album and I tell you what this album is rocking hard very cool so after doing this for so many years it's amazing the band has still been able to come up with fresh material I highly recommend buying this album or listening to it on your favorite streaming service I must also point out that Rudolph and Matthias's guitar tone on this album is just amazing. The crunch tone is just like, whoa, very cool. Um, so I'm gonna go through all these tracks pretty fast because there's quite a lot of them. 15, actually 16. One's, uh, one's an acoustic version of another track. I actually wish they could have done only 10 tracks for this album. And I must say that Everything which is on the main album, which is CD1, 11 tracks, I think that should have been enough because um, the tracks on the bonus CD, um, they're not very good, especially three tracks out of five. They're just boring, uh, in my opinion, but the hardcore Scorpions fan is probably going to like it. Um, the first track of the bonus tr CD is actually pretty good, which is called Shoot For Your Heart. And the acoustic version of uh, when you know where you come from, I think that is pretty cool too. So maybe they could have just added those two tracks in the main album and leave it to that. Uh, but I don't know why they were so keen to actually making a deluxe version. Um, but anyways, that's what these videos are for. To give you guys an information, uh, to tell you what... The songs are like so you can make a decision whether you want to buy this stuff or not the main album yes I highly recommend to buy it because it's amazing I love it so much uh, the bonus tracks not so good all right let's start with track number one gas in the tank amazing opening track killer riff and a killer rhythm too very cool this is an up-tempo song 
And in the verse section, it almost sounds like the song Lost in America, which is done by L. Scooper. Um, the guitar solo sounds something which Slash would do, and that is pretty cool. Track number two, Roots in My Boots. The crunchy guitar tone of the song is just divine. The chorus is not that spectacular, but it's good enough. But the solo is amazing. You will dig the song if guitar is your thing. Track number three, Knock Em Dead. Opening riff almost sounds like Back in the Settle by Aerosmith. And the rest of the song sounds like Panama by Van Halen. Uh, this is a great song overall. By the way, when I compare these songs to different bands, uh, I do it in a most respectful way. And I'm not dissing on other bands. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what the song or the album sounds like and compare them to other famous songs or other famous bands. Track number four, I can't stop listening to this. Now the band has said that this song is dedicated to all the fans and it's an anthem which pretty much says that rock is not dead. Uh, Gene Simmons, are you listening to that? This is a slow tempo song but with amazing riffs and an amazing guitar solo that I love so much. Uh, Rudolf and Matthias' guitar tone on this song and as a matter of fact on this album is just amazing. Track number five, Shining of Your Soul. This is another slow tempo song and has a feel of uh, something of Humanity Hour 1 album that Scorpions did a few years ago. Um, the song has an R&B vibe to it. It's not a great song but it's okay. Track number six, Seventh Son. This single was actually released last week. Another slow tempo song, but that crunchy guitar tone is just heavenly. The guitar riff sounds like something Diff Lippard would have done in the 80s. And um, this song has pretty good verses. And the chorus has a darker, darker mood to it. Uh, but yet, it's a sing-along. I love the song. This is a great song. Track number seven, Hot and Cold. This song is a pretty heavy riff and I love it. Track number eight, When I Lay My Bones to Rest. This is a very fast and bluesy song. Track number nine, Peacemaker. Um, this is a fast up-tempo song and sounds like your classic Scorpion song. The verses and chorus is very nice and not boring at all. And I love the heavy guitar work after the chorus. You should check it out. The guitar solo is also great with some pinch harmonics. Love some pinch harmonics. Track number 10, Call of the Wild. Uh, this is a slower, grindy song. Doesn't really have a big hook, but great guitar work. I like it. And the last song of the album is When, when You Know Where You Come From. This is actually an awesome ballad. Close vocal delivery is just beautiful in this. Full of emotions. Uh, and the solo is just kick-ass as you would expect in a ballad from Scorpions. Um, and let's go into uh, the bonus CD. As I said before, there are five tracks in this bonus CD and out of the five, um, I think three are just filler. Um, the first track is um, Shoot, for, Shoot For Your Heart. Now this is an awesome up-tempo song that will leave your head banging. And I wish they would have actually included this in the main CD and just left it there and call it a day, but they didn't. They decided to do this uh, bonus CD thing. Anyways, the following track is When Tomorrow Comes. I love the guitar tone in this. Very thrash metal-like. Um, this is, but it, it's not a great song, according to me. Maybe good for um, the hardcore Scorpion fans out there. But definitely this is a filler. The next one is Unleash the Beast, another filler. Um, has a very similar vibe to the previous song. And yeah, once again, for the hardcore fans only. And, and the last track of the bonus CD is Crossing Borders. Uh, this is a mid-tempo song, another filler for hardcore fans. Um, actually, sorry, I must say, that wasn't the last track. The final track is actually uh, the acoustic version of When You Know Where You Come From. So um, this is pretty good, actually. Um, anyways. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, as I said before, I highly recommend buying this album. And 
if in your country you're able to find this CD without the deluxe version, I highly recommend that because, yeah, unless you're a hardcore fan of Scorpions, it's only then I would recommend getting the deluxe version. But the main album is killer and a must-have and it's a great release. It's a fun album and uh, the album cover is just amazing and it's nice to have Mickey D play for this legendary band Scorpions. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.